So I wanted to do a short series on SketchUp for beginners because even though it's a really in intuitive program, it's also a source of frustration for a lot of folks and I think they can be uh, explained in a couple short videos. One of the aspects that's the hardest to uh, wrap your head around in SketchUp is orienting where you are in space and navigating and moving around. So when you first open up SketchUp, this should be what you see. Uh, it automatically gives you a little guy for scale. And to move around, you can scroll in and out to zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. And if you push down on the scroll wheel and move the mouse around, that's how you orbit. Now, if you uh, push down on the scroll wheel, move around, and then press the shift key, that lets you pan. So uh, using these moves, uh, that should allow you to move pretty much anywhere in space that you want to go. There's also uh, some preset views that are pretty handy. So if you go up to the uh, view tab, or the camera tab, excuse me, and choose standard views, you can pull over to choose top for a plan view, standard view front for an elevation, and uh, there's also an isometric view as well. So one of the most frustrating uh, things about navigating around in SketchUp for folks is they will get stuck inside of a model. Uh, if you zoom in too far, you might get stuck into something and not know how to get out. Uh, so you don't have to panic. There's a, a, a reset button for that. It's called the Zoom Extends tool. So anytime, if you ever get stuck in a model and you don't know where you are, just click on the uh, magnifying glass with the little arrows. That's the Zoom Extends button. And that will pull you out to the... Uh, the furthest ex extents of the model. I guess another tip I would say is uh, don't move around too much at first when you're first learning SketchUp. Uh, zoom out to a place where you're you're far enough out that you have a, a pretty good view of everything so that you don't have to do a lot of moving around and scrolling around because that just uh, uh, takes up a lot of time and energy. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, delete this uh, little scale person out here because we don't need it. And um, the, the biggest tool to help you understand where you are in space are these axes tools. So these axes tell you uh, what direction um, in the Euclidean grid you are. So you have uh, the blue axis is up and down, and then the green is your, uh, uh, your Y axis, if you will, and your, and your red is your X. Um, so uh, when you go to draw lines, um, go ahead and grab the uh, pencil tool, which is a line tool up in the toolbar. And you'll notice that uh, you, can, you can click to start out, and as you uh, drag the pencil out, um, it wants to snap to these different axes. So uh, let's say I'm gonna draw a stair. So I'm gonna pull it up, and it's snapped to the blue axes. And in the bottom right corner, you can see the value that the, the length of the line is. Um, I can enter a precise length just by dragging it up and then entering with the keyboard uh, if I want to go up seven inches, I'll hit seven and then inches and then hit enter. So it's drawing my line up vertically, seven inches. Now if I want to draw back for the tread of the stair, again, as I'm drawing the line, it wants to snap to these axes. This is how you understand where you are in space. So I want to go uh, backwards uh, along the green axes. So I want to make sure that I'm snapped along the green axes as I draw my line. And then I'm going to hit the enter, uh, I'm going to enter the value that I want, in this case 11 inches, and hit enter. And um, that's the basics for understanding how to draw uh, lines in SketchUp. So I'm just going to repeat this a couple times to make a, a, a stringer for my stair. So I'm, so I'm going to go up again, snapping along the blue axis, because that's the vertical axis, 7 inches. Snap back, 11 And uh, I'll draw a line along the, the back of my stair. Uh, this time it'll be in the red axis. And let's make a three foot wide stair. And I'll just hit escape to get out of the line that I'm drawing. So now that I've got some basic lines drawing for uh, my stair to kind of serve as a guide, um, it's time to start creating shapes. To do that, um, it's important to understand uh, how SketchUp makes shapes. Uh, there are no solid volumes in SketchUp. It's all just a series of a bunch of faces. So in order to make a shape, you're just going to make a bunch of faces that make up that shape. So, and faces are made by closing off loops. 
So using the line tool with the pencil, I'm just going to draw uh, down my seven inches, and it'll it'll snap to other endpoints, and then back. And as soon as I close the loop off, it's made a face for me. This face I can then take with the push pull tool, located up in the toolbar here. Um, and as I uh, hover over a, a face, uh, by the way, you may not see this uh, big toolbar here. Um, I've uh, open that up on my screen by going to view and then click pull down to toolbars and then click on large tool set and then hit close. The large tool set uh, gives you a few more uh, tools to choose from. So anyway I'm going to grab the push pull, pull tool and this is going to allow me to extrude uh, this face uh, into a box which is just a series of faces. So uh, when a face is highlighted that means I can uh, pull it so I'm going to click once and slide it out to extrude it. I can go in any direction I want to. And uh, just like the line tool, I can enter in a precise length. Uh, so I can pull it out and enter in three, and this time feet, and hit enter. And it pulls it out to be three feet. I'm going to hit uh, Control z to undo that. I'll show you another way to extrude things uh, to precise lengths. This time I'm going to uh, click to pull it out and um, I'm going to snap to other edges as guides. Um, every line you can snap at, a, at its endpoint and you can snap it at any line's midpoint as well. So I'm going to extrude it out and then snap the, at the endpoint and that brings it out three feet as well. One tip, if I pull this, uh, oops, I don't want to do that. If I hit Control Z to pull it back. Um, another tip is uh, if you've got quite a few faces to extrude if you double click on it. Um, double clicking on a face with the push pull tool will extrude it out the same distance you did before. So if you have a bunch of boxes you want to extrude up a certain height, double click on it and it will keep extruding the same height for you. So you're going to find that the uh, push pull tool is the main way to modify shapes and to extrude faces into volumes. Um, but there's a lot of different ways you can uh, create complicated shapes and modify them. Um, I won't get into all that uh, in this first part, but I, I do just want to point out different ways you can modify a shape once you've extruded it. Uh, one way is uh, if you use the select tool and if you grab uh, a, a bunch of edges and faces, you can move those independently. Just grab the move tool and I can slide that along and you can see, you can see that that modifies uh, the shape as well. I can move it and click along the um, blue axes. Um, and you can see how that uh, changes it. I'm going to hit Control z to undo that as well. Um, let's say if we wanted for this stair, we wanted to give it a, a, a toe kick. So what I could do is I could uh, select the bottom edge of this stair and then move it in an inch by clicking anywhere in space and then, and then dragging it along the, the green axis. Um, and then I'll, I'll enter in one inch to move it in one inch. And you can see that that's uh, one way I can uh, achieve that without having to draw a face and extruding it. So anyway, that's the basics for uh, in SketchUp for part one for orbiting around and finding your way, for drawing lines, and for creating basic shapes. Uh, part two will cover how to turn shapes into groups and move them around.